Sometimes, some crimes, some podcasts. Hi everybody, welcome to Let's Play. Um, we're going to get right to it. Uh, Sword, how are you and what did you play this week? I am fine. I uh, hit up some Mortal Kombat this week. I hit up a little bit of Black Ops 2. Um, really digging the new maps. I know they're a few weeks old. Um, newly addicted to Angry Birds Friends. I got number three on my friends list, uh, and people keep uh, sending me stuff. Uh, thank you, Eerie Ninja and Dawn, uh, and uh, yeah, some other some other iPhoney stuff. Um, so yeah, is, having fun with that. Is it is there a Joey Bird? And when it like when you launch, when you launch it, does it go? How you doing? How you and then doing? slams the things. <laughs> what? How what? you doing? I don't even know. And, and and does one of the birds have a Rachel How hairstyle? Oh, and, and yeah, it was weird. It, it is weird because every time you boot it up to Rembrandt, Rembrandt's play, I'll be there for you. I, I okay. Uh, all right, Chachi, what did you play this week? Uh, I played, uh, well, first off, I'm doing well, Bobby. Thank you for asking. Oh, how are um, you? <laughs> I, I played um, GTA Five. I played uh, Black Ops. I played Phase 10 and Deer Hunter. Uh, African Safari on my phone. You bought it? Oh, I was going to say. Um, also, um, we need to get a move on because as a good podcaster that I am, I waited mm -hmm. um, so I could play Assassin's Creed 4, ah. which I picked up today. Um, nice. And I waited until after the show to even bother pulling it out of my – or to put it in my Xbox. So, <laughs> I was going to say pulling out of where? Yeah. Um, but my go I have a serious question for you guys mm -hmm. um, okay. do you guys smell your games when you open them yes they sometimes smell yeah they smell weird okay all right I would just make I, I got laughed at today at work um, <laughs> because I, I, I undid the plastic wrap and I took off the sticker and I opened it up and the first thing I did was smell it anything you new you want to smell. Game yeah, that's, smell that's what I said. I was like, it's new game smell. Who doesn't love new game smell? <laughs> it's like you buy a new car. You sit in the car for days smelling new car smell. Right. Nope. It's the to same sell. exact thing. New game smell gamer uh, air fresheners. Right. And, 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 and I got laughed at. I couldn't you know understand. What? I just laugh at to... them back when you stab them in the face with, their, with your hidden lights. <laughs> I, I just needed to make sure that I'm not the only one that you know, sniffs their game when they open it for the first time. They shouldn't even laugh at you when you're playing a game called Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I know! <laughs> like, <laughs> but uh, uh, Payback was ultimately mine when I walked out at 4.30 today and said, ha ha ha, you guys are screwed um, because I'm not there for the next eight work days. Wow, nice. So I have, uh, I have seven days to get through Assassin's Creed 4, um, which... Won't take me seven days. Um, the last one took me about 24 hours, and this one is uh, said to be about 20 hours long. So come next Tuesday when Call of Duty comes out, I should be good. Cool. All right. Uh, Riz, how are you doing, and what have you played this week? I am doing fabulous, sir. And, and what Chachi didn't bring up was the fact that uh, – Team, what was it? Team Pittsburgh or Pittsburgh Crew, whatever our team name is. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually did our first group activity in I GTA wasn't, Online. <laughs> I wasn't yeah, invited. <laughs> no, and it this was is why. It's, first this off, is why it's Squad Pittsburgh. What was it? it first off, it's Squad Pittsburgh. Squad Pittsburgh. Yeah. Sorry. Get it right. And second, you know you didn't and fight secondly, me. All he did the entire car no. trip was give me the finger. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Is, I'm sitting there. We're trying, uh, yeah. We're trying to hijack it. We're trying to hijack a tanker. Wait, who and, hijacked the tanker? And who, who successfully hijacked the tanker? Listen, just because you're better at driving a big rig than I am, who got us there quickly? <laughs> what? What? But uh, yeah, it, we're, so I'm speeding down the highway trying to find the uh, the tanker truck, and all you see in the car is Riz wearing a pig mask, <laughs> giving me the finger the oh, entire my. trip. Right there, the, I wasn't all there. I did. All entire I did. trip, I wasn't there the whole time. I'm gonna do this the entire show now. 
<laughs> Just so I can relive this. <laughs> right there. Oh, my. But, yeah. So, it's apparently, if you uh, don't have a whip it, weapon equipped while you're in a car and you have more than one person in there, the passenger can just give you the finger the whole time. Yep. It was the <laughs> best moment I, of the game so far. All right. And also, Actually, um, I did pick up a game, this a, a new release game this week. And unlike Chachi, I am not waiting. I am on WrestleMania 7 in WWE 14. Nice. And I didn't know this, but Sergeant Slaughter had a pink world title belt. That's where the modern day Divas title came from. Yep. Uh, but so far, so good on that front. <laughs> I'll have a probably review on it by this week. Cool. So, yay! Yeah, I'm aiming for I, Friday for my review of Assassin's Creed. Um, because I should have it beat by then. All right. And Bobby. I, Bobby. I'm, I'm doing well. Okay, thank you. And I played Avengers Alliance, of course. Oh, Bobby. Uh, there's a new Spec Ops that started, and it's Heimdall, so I don't know if I'm going to get that or not. Um, I played uh, Pokemon X. Got a, I, I got a Pokemon that looks like a keychain. Yep. I caught it. Uh, its name is Clefkey, and he's my friend. Um, I played he GTA V. Um, I played the demo for Lego Marvel uh, Legos. Uh, Lego Marvel, whatever it's called. Um, and I bought six new games this weekend because there was a buy two, get one free sale. Um, and I played one of those games. I'm saving the other ones for the 25-hour uh, uh, charity event we're doing for um, Extra Life. Um, but I played Injustice out of those. And I played the challenge this week, which was Rescue Rangers. Do you guys remember Rescue Rangers? And did anybody play it? I'm going to take that as a note. But my memories are still fresh <laughs> of this game. Uh, <laughs> but it, it's one of those uh, NES games where things felt big. Yeah. Right? You it was kind of tough. It was. It was definitely challenging. It, um, yeah, it, 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 it's, it's one of the classic. I, I think this is the one that came out. I think this was the second big uh, Disney cartoon game, you know, back when, like, because I remember that was that era where it was like you had DuckTales and you had Chippendale and you had Tailspin, like the yeah. big Disney cartoon. The Disney Afternoon. Yeah, Disney Afternoon stuff. <coughs> um, and this was, <laughs> hold on, I'm retweeting that, Chach. Who smells the new video games when they buy them? Uh, <laughs> um, but but no, I need validation. That's right. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it, it, it was one of the first big ones. I don't remember. I don't remember getting very far. Or if I did, it was with the Game Genie or something um, on a rental. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it's it definitely. I think it still holds up as far as NES games go. Cool. Um, See, my I, problem is I didn't like those cartoons. Yeah. What I, is I, the matter I, with you? Dark. Uh, first off, let me just state that I'm not including Darkwing Duck in that in that group because Darkwing Duck was amazing. But like they came Chip later Dales, too. Chip and Dale's I didn't like. Um, Tailspin I wasn't a big fan of. Mm -hmm. I, I just didn't dig those cartoons. Hmm. I guess everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Exactly. <laughs> now smell my game. <laughs> I also want to point out, and it's shown on the video, if you're on the video version of this, uh, this is the first game where you could hide in a box. Precursor to Metal ah, Gear. Metal Gear Solid. Maybe that's why I like Metal Gear so far, so much when I finally got a hold of it. Uh, because it just reminded me of Chippendale's Rescue Rangers. <clears throat> Somebody needs to do a mod of uh, Snake is Chip or Dale with a wine shirt. Mm. Yes, so uh, th yeah, it's definitely it's definitely one I include in in one of the top uh, NES games as far mm -hmm. as it goes. Um, like I say, just everything felt big. It, it was literally because it was like, hey, here's a giant test tube because you're a little freaking rodent. <laughs> Those dogs are kind of cool too. Yeah, the robot dogs. Yeah, exactly. So, um, our uh, challenge for next week is our last Disney game we're going to look at, which is The Lion King. So another one of those uh, Super Nintendo slash Genesis ones. And you know what that means, guys? 
<laughs> Bobby's going to sing for the intro. What's that? New straw pool's coming out soon. Yeah. I got to think of games. Yeah. yeah. November. So uh, which which games? Uh, holiday games. Let's start looking at yeah. holiday games. Are there Christmas that. games? There's some kind of Christmas games, right? There are some terrible, terrible Christmas <laughs> games. There you go. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> do right. it. Anything Home to. Alone. Home Alone. Oh, Ugh. man. <laughs> There's that... There was a one Christmas where, where, where a cousin of mine got a Super Nintendo with Mario Paint and Home Alone 2. What a mix. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Did he, did he also get a talk boy? It was a she, but no. You oh, know, she. Not talk did boy. they also get a talk boy? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. Or a talk girl. There was a talk girl, too. Yes. All right, uh, we're going to move on to things you should be made, should, you should be made aware of. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to look at some of the new releases that come out. Um, Chachi, I believe you smelled one today. I did uh, smell <laughs> one today. It is a glorious day. Assassin's, uh, Assassin's Creed, Creed 4, 4, 4 Black, Black Flag. Flag came out today. Mm -hmm. um, Ubisoft's latest uh, hit in the series. And I think, like, I okay, I'm okay with being a pirate. I have... Absolutely no problem being a pirate. I look forward to it. That's not the reason why I'm excited about this game. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this game because I need to know what happens next in the story. And I'm not talking about the Assassin's story because obviously this one takes place before uh, 3. Mm -hmm. I need to know what happens next in the out of uh, Animus uh, story. I, I need to, because the last one was kind of a cliffhanger, and that really pissed me off. <laughs> um, because uh, cliffhangers in video games, I think, are worse than cliffhangers in movies. Uh, so it, it's one of those things that I, 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 I need to know what happened. Need to know. <laughs> and I, ref I, I, abs I read absolutely zero reviews of the game, because I didn't want it to spoil it for me. I, I, it, I'm going into this completely blank. Um, but the, the funny thing is, I was just as excited about the insert I got for the game as I was to get the game. Okay. Uh, because it, the insert in it um, is an announcement for next year's Assassin's Creed game. Already. Nice. And it's um, <laughs> apparently in Sorg filled me in on this because I was a bad gamer and I don't count the PS Vita as a real system. Um, oh, I think uh, I know where you're going not, with this. It's not at all. Right. Um, well, Assassin's Creed Liberation, which is a game for mm. the PS Vita, is uh, being released for all systems next year. Oh, um, that's good. And, it's, and it says uh, completely... All new, completely enhanced game coming 2014, Assassin's Creed Liberation HD. But that's not why I'm excited. I'm excited because the picture, and it's you're not going to be able to see really well, but uh, that assassin has boobs. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, she was and, she was the main character of the uh, PSP version. Right. Uh, well, that doesn't count because the PSP <laughs> and the Vita isn't a real system. Um, but uh, and I'm really excited about this because in uh, I think it's Brotherhood, um, you can call assassins and some of them are females, but you can't play as a female assassin, so you don't get the female perspective when playing the game. Mm -hmm. So I want to see if the female assassins are just as sick and twisted as the male assassins. Probably. And also, um, it, it, it's a step forward in the whole. Uh, we need more females as main characters. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, so. yes. Riz, I, I think uh, there's another uh, big release this week, uh, that which you have. WWE 2K14. And he's smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> no, does, it smell like, no. does it smell like Hulk Hogan? It does. God, I hope not. <laughs> it smells like despair. <laughs> And lots of lots of bronzer. <laughs> but so far, and so, vitamins. So wait, wait. So it smells like Zack Ryder. <laughs> yeah, an older Zack Ryder. Huh. Um, but 
uh, I was very skeptical of this game, just like every other you know gamer slash wrestling fan. Um, but so far, 2K is very, very is making me very, very happy right now. Uh, it looks better than 13, and it looks a lot better than like all the other SmackDown versus Raw games that were out previously. That's good. And and also, I did this already. Oh, nah, you switched the cover. I switched the cover. Uh, if, if for those who don't know, uh, The Rock is on the original cover, and like the The Rock is this guy right here. If you don't know, and they did a contest to see if you can make another cover for WWE 14. This was what this what one, and I already switched it because you know I don't want the rock on my cover. And that's WWE Anyways, superstar Daniel Bryan for those on the audio. Should be yes. world champ or WWE champion Daniel Bryan, but he's not. But we'll get to that on another that's show. A, that's a different show, Bobby. <laughs> but but I so think far, it's, I, I think it should still be CM Punk, but you know <laughs> that's another so show. Fa- <laughs> at, but so far, it's making me happy that T. 2K has bought THQ. That's a good I'm, thing. I am still skeptical on Ukes, but 2K Sports is doing impressive stuff. Well, here's the thing that you have to remember. 2K Sports was already a sports company. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they did amazing with the, the sporting games they released before EA screwed them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I, I mean, if I, if I were to trust any company with releasing a new WWE game, it would have been 2K. Mm, I've, I've actually played MLB 2K, and it's it's pretty much the same difference. And, and people people say like the the NBA games are really good too. Like yeah, the, the NBA, NBA 2K. Uh, anything the 2K touches so far is going places. And it may surpass EA soon. Good. It's a good sign. Just that is a really good sign. But yeah, the graphics are a lot better. Uh, it actually makes you feel like this game is like the, the the first the first part of the WrestleMania thing was the body slam challenge, and it actually looked like it was from WrestleMania one <laughs> with the graphics and different scenarios and all that stuff. Um, if you want to, if you're a wrestling fan, you want to buy this game, do it. I'll, I'll write a more detailed report later. Okay. Um, and we had a, put that over here. We had a couple other releases. Um, Battlefield four for PC came out, uh, today. Um, I and almost, Pac- I almost bought that. Oh, it, it also came out for, uh, Xbox and, and PlayStation yeah. three, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, also Pac-Man and the the Ghostly Adventures. Now, F1. here's what I want to know. Mm-hmm. Based on all the releases, mm-hmm. what percentage do you think bought uh, Black Flag? Uh, what percentage do you think bought Battlefield 4? What percentage do you think bought WWE 14? And what percentage, if any... Yeah, there's Did some little kids out there that might Pac-Man. pick up Pac-Man. Pac-Man's a viable franchise. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but also, if I, um, up, if I had to put numbers to it, um, I would say, um, just because of the releases, I would say 45% bought Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. Um, 25% bought... Um, WWE. Huh. Um, so that's what, 60? Mm-hmm. 70? That's 70. Um, 20% mm-hmm. bought Battlefield, and then mm-hmm. the last 10% bought Pac Man. If I had to put numbers to it, I'm not I, I, think, I think that's how it broke down. I think, I think Battlefield and WWE 14 might be a little closer than people think. 
Yeah. But there were two other games, too, that came out. F1 2013 oh. that had probably 1%. And Sonic <laughs> Lost World uh, for the Wii U, which oh. nobody has a Wii U. Yeah, so. no one has the Wii U, so that got 0.1% of the, uh, <laughs> the sales for today. Um, but yeah. you also have to take into account that most people buy more than one game when they come out. Yeah. So, I, I, I mean, chances are you can't really go by that because some of the people who bought Assassin's Creed probably bought Battlefield. Or WWE. Yeah, yeah. Guys, um, guys, but, guys, I think we're all missing the big picture here. Uh, there was something... It's Assassin's Creed Day! No, no. Even bigger than Assassin's Creed Day is the release to consoles of Angry Birds Star Wars. Oh, that's Wars. right, yeah. Um, I, I think it's a pretty big deal here. Uh, so so I, I think we need to observe that. And that, that obviously took about 50% of the sales today. A big deal Sword. for Sword. 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 <laughs> Hey, Sorg, mm -hmm. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sorg, Angry Sorg, Birds, no. and it's Star Wars. Sorg, <laughs> Sorg, I, I, I want you to sit behind your boards and uh, just be quiet. The gamers are talking. I, I, all right, I'm going to turn me. Uh, I'm going to turn myself. Off. <laughs> I'm kidding, <laughs> Sorg. Come back. Come, come back, back Sorg. Sorg. We need you for come the next back, next Sorg. part here. All right. Um, back, Sorg. Sorg. Another another thing we should be aware of this week, guys. It's almost Halloween. That means we're going to talk about some scary characters in games. Um, I put up an article about the scary six, or six scariest characters in video games. Um, number one on that list was Pyramid Head from Silent Hill 2. Scary. Mm -hmm. Pyramid Head is creepy. Uh, what, are you, what are some of your favorites? Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just break it down for you. Okay, everybody imagine you're in a dark forest. Okay, I know where this is going. You have no weapons. Your only thing that you have is a camera. Now, you're walking through the forest and you're picking up these little pieces of paper. But then you turn around and there's nobody behind you. <laughs> dun, dun, okay. Dun. Everything's quiet. Just like this. And then you turn around again. And there stands a man with no face and a suit just staring at you. Can't stare. He doesn't have any eyes. Exactly. Bum, bum, bum. What do you do? You Run. shit your pants. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and a lot of people did. If you if you read my other my article uh, on Monday, uh, but yes, Slender is probably Slenderman. It's not Slenderman. It's not man. It's Slenderman. It's like a last name. It's Joe Slenderman. Uh, I don't think his first looking... name is Joe. <laughs> okay, Steve. It's you just Steve made him Slenderman. the not scariest person ever. My name's Joe Steve Slenderman. Slen <laughs> Steve Slenderman. He has a suit. So he just you know, wants to give you a cup of something. sugar. That's <laughs> but still, see, I was picking up, picturing him as more of a Horatio Slenderman. <laughs> Horatio Sands Slenderman. Horatio Slenderman. No. But yeah, George so, laughing in the background, but you can't hear him because I, <laughs> I made him sit behind the board. Yeah. But yeah, Slenderman is probably the scariest sight I have ever seen in a video game. Unless he's giving you sugar. Yeah, un unless he <laughs> asks for, like, Grey Poupon or something. Uh, yeah. Greg, uh, Leg Kick said his name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey Slenderman. Jeffrey Slenderman. <laughs> okay. Jeffrey's kind of creepier because like of Jeffrey Dahmer. Sounds yeah. Like it sounds like Jeffrey Slenderman DDS or something. <laughs> now he's a dentist. And, and Leg Kick brings up another point. One of the top six of, on our list, actually, Voldo is one of the top six. So, there we go. Because <laughs> uh, Voldo is very creepy. Chachi, you have one? Uh, yeah, the ghost in Pac-Man. Wow. And that, that's the one Joe. that got Sorg. That's wow. the one that got Sorg. <laughs> <laughs> I got him. 
Um, uh, no. Uh, uh, I think it was called Condemned. <laughs> Did your thing say barred from the show? I, I think uh, I think it was. I think the goal, the game was called Condemned. Oh um, yeah. Oh, I, I remember you playing that one. <laughs> What's that? I remember you playing that one. Exactly. You were, you were fucked up for like a week. That game scared <laughs> the shit out of you. If you had surround sound, you were fucked. Didn't you play with headphones? Yes. Well, because, yeah, but that, like, what character, though? Is, not, not, not moment. Character. Any of them. <laughs> because you would hear sounds coming from everywhere. Oh, wow. And then out of nowhere... Something Randy would just jump out and start attacking you. <laughs> Wrong show, Bobby. Wrong show. Okay. Well, yeah. You were in like a. It was a. It was a prison. That like a haunted yeah. prison, right? That was nuts. It was like on a PlayStation Two. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for its time, that game scared the crap out of you. Mm-hmm. Like it, Sorg is one hundred percent right. I got it. I was fucked for a week. <laughs> Because I'd hear noises, and I'd instantly jump and turn around, <laughs> thinking I'm I, about I to be attacked by some mutant. We were living together for uh, at the time, and you, like, I just watched you play. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was, it was tremendous. <laughs> wow. Sir, do you have one? Now that you're back in the show. Oh, am I? I no, I'm sorry. I'm a victim again. I, I had to pick up one. Now. No, you're allowed. I'm back out. Are you sure? You're allowed. You're, sure? you're, okay. you're allowed. All right. Um... The, the, the kind of freak out, I don't know, scariest. Angry birds. Ang- you know, angry <laughs> birds. It's kind of tough, man. Those pigs are scary, sort of. Um, <laughs> I can't remember, like, the last game I played. I mean, I played a lot of Resident Evil. Um, really, There's a lot of scary stuff in there. You know what? I want to say the original Resident Evil. Because I know it's, like, super cheesy when you look at it now. But I got it, and it was, uh, I got the computer version. So it's me in my room with the hum of the... Of the of the of the the Pentium tower next to me, um, and having such a quiet in the footsteps, and all of a sudden you something jumps through a window. You know, it's that startle scare thing. Um, the dogs. And it was the first thing that was um, that visceral. You know, uh, in, in that time. Yeah, I think this is PlayStation One, right? Wasn't it the dogs that jumped out? Usually it was the dogs. The window. And the dogs were like the worst ones to deal with. You can almost handle the zombies, okay. You know, mm-hmm. um, and there was like videos that went with it and everything. Like, is that the only one that had like live action videos, horribly done live action videos? <laughs> I, I recall. Um, and yeah, it is super cheesy, but it was the first kind of startle scare come at you. Uh, beyond that, really, I think the number one thing I would always get super super anxious when I go when I went to Bowser's Castle on Super Mario Bros. One. <laughs> <laughs> like that was always a thing. Yeah. Yeah, doing research, I, had, I I saw a video that somebody had Bowser on, and I'm like, really, really. Like back in the day, you got that that uh, the music going, and you got the the flames that's, shooting that, up. That's like saying you're afraid of Ganon. <laughs> oh, giant pig man! <laughs> giant pig man! Hey, those Bowser are... rode in a clown car in Super Mario World. <laughs> well, by then you were over it, right? <laughs> oh, I still get right. that feeling in Super Mario Brothers 1 that I don't get in the castle levels of Super Mario 3 <laughs> right. well how can you be afraid of kids that's true it yeah. is kitted up and it was just so raw and visceral and pixelated I don't know Iggy Koopa just was scary as hell <laughs> But but the princess was in another castle. It's yeah. always in another. It was another castle, Sorg. <laughs> All right. Well, can we move on to the news now? Please. <laughs> that, and how to that tell we've no uncovered Sorg's fear of Koopa. <laughs> All right. You know, um, I'm going to evict myself from the show for that one. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool. Come back, Sorg. Um, uh, one of the big stories that was released today, um, Titanfall is not coming to the PlayStation 4. It is a PS1 oh. exclusive. or it, it, It's an Xbox One exclusive. Oh, okay. So uh, we got that out of the, the, the way. Um, they And and actually, um, and the people that were behind Infinity Ward, can't remember the name of the company, they uh, actually clarified that today. It's not coming to PS4. Not a time exclusive, exclusive to Xbox One. So. 
Um, Riz, I think you have a story about an old lady who bought a sword. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, no, no, no. She, she, well, first of all, if she's, uh, from South Korea. Yeah. Uh, and she's playing a game that in the United States, their servers have been down for three years. No! Uh, but yeah, so so this lady buys, actually spent her hard-earned money, I forget what, what their money currency is over there, uh, but she spent $28,000 to buy a sword... Please say the giant dildo. Please say the giant dildo. Please say the <laughs> giant dildo. It was not a giant dildo. Uh, it was uh, an enchanted but, one. But in this game, <laughs> you can you can try your luck in enchanting a weapon to make it stronger. <laughs> now, the lady in question uh, enchanted said sword. And then didn't get enchanted. In fact, she lost it. <laughs> oh no! The sword broke. So she she tried suing the company. Oh, please say for, Blizzard. What? No, please it wasn't it Blizzard. Blizzard. It was it was it was I forget what game company it was, but she tried to sue the game company for this for the sword that she lost. Because she was too stupid enough to enchant a twenty-eight thousand dollar sword, because it wasn't powerful enough. And the one thing they got on her was that the lady didn't stop enchanting after she lost the sword. So basically, her her whole thing was that she lost the sword and lost the game and stopped playing the game. But now, she it was sh it was sh found out that she enchanted more things, even though it wasn't twenty eight dollars twenty eight thousand dollars worth. Uh, I say, you know what? Go screw yourself, Asian ladies. <laughs> okay. Now that we've uh, alienated a segment that might watch or listen to the show, I, I, you, know, you know what? No, 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 no. Yeah, the old Asian lady population. <laughs> hey, really the old Asian lady show, demo Bobby. is is li live and strong. <clears throat> but no, right. seriously, if if I if I buy a weapon worth twenty eight thousand dollars, first of all, I need to come up with twenty eight thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't think it would need enchanting either if it's that good of yeah. a weapon. It, it was. I think I heard it was the most powerful weapon in the game, and yet she wanted it enchanted for some god knows what. It's like that South Park episode, the Sword of Truth. You need old people in gaming, am I right? Yeah. yeah. Hey, What's the, the Wii, deal with the Wii that? Is pretty. In pretty popular with the seniors so uh moving on before i get like an angel <laughs> all right guys um gta has surpassed 29 million copies sold in six weeks uh i would just like to point out that any record that gta um hits mm -hmm. is gone in seven days agreed uh, maybe but we'll see it's gonna be a tough a tough battle any no, I, I, not even a question. Any record that they set is going to be gone in seven days. Hands down. Because those, because those people who buy GTA are going to buy C Call of Duty as well. That's the thing. Not all of them, though. Most of them will. Chachi is one of them. I may be one of them. I'll Let's uh. I would just like to point something out, though. In our group, we already have one person that is buying Call of Duty that did not buy GTA. That's true. But a lot of people, then again, have soured on the Call of Duty franchise, and they're more into Battlefield, too. So, I don't know. It's going to be a toss-up. 
But anyways, they, I, uh, think, Rockstar... I, I think the thing is, when you go come to something like GTA, uh, mm -hmm. GTA isn't a yearly thing. GTA yeah. doesn't have something that was coming out relatively at the same time that was very like it. Saints Row, Saints, Row, Saints Row 4 had been out months earlier, and I don't think is nearly, nearly, nearly as big as GTA. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. I don't know the numbers. Um, you also have Call of Duty and Battlefield, which are relatively the same thing, mm -hmm. right? They're, they're war combat games. Uh, yeah. and that come out yearly. That do season passes. That it hasn't been, how long was it since GTA 4? Like, a few years, right? Two thousand seven. Um, I think that plays against uh, Call of Duty kicking GTA's ass in this. Mm -hmm. I really do. Um, but uh, Rockstar went on to say that the game exceeded the lifetime sell-in of Grand Theft Auto Four on console in less than six weeks. So yeah. the entire time that Grand Theft Auto Four has been available, this is a perfect nexus okay. that everybody has a PS three or Xbox 360 at this mm -hmm. point. GTA is the franchise amongst this demographic. Regardless, mm -hmm. I, don't even, I don't even think it's probably close to Call of Duty. It's not oversaturated, because you have how many Call of Duties, how many different Assassin's Creed's, yeah. how many different of these other things. Um, it's in, I don't know if you'll have exactly this, because when the next GTA comes out, it's going to be only a couple years into the next next generation. You're not getting that on the old consoles. Um, mm. You won't have enough people with the console to get this kind of numbers uh, for another seven years. I think this is what happens when you have a console that sticks around this long, is you get numbers like this. Mm. Um, if, if, if Xbox 360 and PS3 uh, were retired after four or five years, you would never have had this kind of numbers. Yeah. All right. Um, well, speaking of Call of Duty, Chachi, I think you uh, wrote a story about uh, something unconventional coming to a Call of Duty game. Well, um, uh, yeah, Activision and crap, I'm blanking. Whichever yeah, company is releasing the next Call of Duty game. Um, is it Infinity Ward? Infinity Ward. Yes, that that is yeah. the one. Um, announced their latest mode uh, to compete with zombie mode and it is called extinction and well how do you guys feel about giant hordes of aliens attacking you I got aliens in my call of duty you know this <laughs> is uh, not a new concept because there are some mods and some indie games that do this already I've I've played Mass Effect Right. Uh, and now, so it, my I, whole thing, uh, my whole thing was the fact that um, it, it, it cannot replace the current survival mode that they had in uh, in this uh, in this version of Call of Duty. Um, the survival mode they had in it was fine, and it was fun. Um, so that's that's my only thing. Um, I, I understand the need to uh, revamp it and make it fun um, and different, but um, as long as they didn't take away my, my plain survival mode, then I'm good. It's like horde mode, basically. Yeah. So every game needs like a mode like that anyways. And since the other company had the zombies, maybe they just wanted to try something fresher, so... Yeah, it is a new series because this is not Modern Warfare. This is mm -mm. this is a reset. So I think this is them resetting what that concept what, is. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. What's it called? G -g 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 Ghosts. Mm. Okay, I'll let you go. Good segue into the next <laughs> into the boss battle question. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go back to the scary moments in games. Um, so, what are your favorite or what are your scariest moments that you remember playing as as uh, any game. Oh, Where's... let's see. Um, in in my article that I wrote on Monday, I did the top six, and I I had Slen I had Jeffrey Slenderman as number one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the one the one that I was trying to decide on uh, was really weird because. It didn't have anything, like, you know, no zombies were in there. 
no aliens, nothing like that. Um, the nuke scene from Call of Duty 4. Mm. I remember that. Uh, it was one of those scenes in the game that you never expected to happen. Yeah, it was very jarring. And it's, yeah, and it scared the crap out of me. Like I was, I was sitting there. I I heard it over the 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 thing, and I was like, "They're not really going to do this, are they?" And all of a sudden, the big mushroom cloud appeared, and everything just started spinning. And it was one of those moments where I will never forget the weirdest feeling I've had, because they I just saw virtual people get nuked, and. It was pretty scary for me because, you know, it could happen. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Ah. All right, uh, Chachi, you have one? Yes. Um, when the ghosts get released from their prison in Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> or uh. when the, the barrels start becoming flames on Donkey Kong. Oh, those, that's very scary. No, you know, you know what else is scary? I just thought of this. The flower popping up in Mario? Don't fuck <laughs> no, with that close. flower in Mario. Oh, oh, I know. When when Bowser <laughs> starts wow, throwing wow. stuff at you <laughs> and shooting fireballs at the exact same time. When he's flying fire, around in that clown yeah, car. Stop taking my moment. <laughs> fire fireballs and hammers. <laughs> All right, let's be serious here. Um, no, when um, when the girl Koopa child throws the uh, life <laughs> rings at you. Um, and they start bouncing around, and you're trying to. Her avoid name them. is Wendy. That's it. I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> the We're bone, taking... the bone turtles in Super Mario Bros. Three that just won't die. <laughs> no, it, I already covered uh, my my scary moments in video games. Um, it, it's not scary; it's just startling. And, and that's that's what it was. It, it was it condemned is probably the scariest video game I've played to date. Uh, for, okay. for for me, I got I, moment wise. I think it's the time I I binged on uh, Metal Gear Solid Two, and he told me I've been playing video games too long. The Mantis in the game? No, not the Mantis. It was, like, it oh, was, oh, it was oh, the second one. Like it's the second one where like it starts glitching and and uh, yeah, that's Psycho Mantis, I think. And the, no, no, that Psycho Mantis is not in the second one. But there's a point oh, where you find out that like the person you've been talking to, spoiler alert, is not real, uh, and he starts telling you weird okay. weird shit. And when he's like, seriously, you've been playing this too long. I was like, what? Was like, you know, very like fourth wall breaking stuff like that series is really good for. So. Um, Bobby. Mine would have to be from Bioshock Infinite. Um, oh. uh, there's a online video of people freaking out because of the mm. boys of silence. Um, it's very scary. <laughs> I remember playing this and just turning around and being like, holy crap! Yeah, this was a very close second for me. Yeah. I, 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 when I pressed, when I pulled the lever and turned around, I didn't think there was going to be anybody near me. But I thought there was going to be, like, guards coming at me and stuff. But seeing that thing in front of me, like, nearly made me poop my pants. It's just like a jumpy, jumpy, jumpy scare, too. Those are the worst kind of scares. Besides it's Koopas. Okay. It's okay, Bobby. It's okay. <laughs> but yeah. It just gave me flashbacks watching that video. So. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for us this week. Um, you can uh, follow us on at InsertCoinTB on Twitter. You can go to the website. There's a couple new articles up uh, at insert or at, on in, InsertCoinToBegin.com. Um, and our challenge for this week is... The Lion King. So uh, you could play that and tell us what you think of it. And Bobby, Bobby, seriously, Akuna Matata. And if me and me if you want and if you want to make a do uh, donation, <laughs> if you want to make a donation to us, there's still time. We're not playing our uh, 25 hour uh, gameathon for another week. Um, it'll be November 9th, um, and we'll probably have a way for you to watch on InsertCoinToBegin.com. So uh, keep alert for that, and we'll see you next week. Game over. <laughs>